welcome back to the Talos Principle with Dark Lord Kaiser. I'm still on a bond. Ooh, QR codes. Let's go see what they say. Oh, start from this one. Seek out those in this world that would help you. Though only one of us can transcend, we will all share in both the burden and the rewards. Oh, interesting. So only one of only one uh, AI can transcend, can I? That seems incredibly arbitrary, I was just gonna say. You've changed, Doc. <laughs> Doc says that Shepherd has changed. Or the Shepherd. Everything I do now I do for those who come after me. Yet in doing so I find peace for myself as well. This paradox is the foundation of my existence. Well, whatever works for you, buddy. Founding uh, your existence on paradoxes is what gets you through the day. Go nuts. Better hips is anything different to this particular. In the beginning were the words. Nope. And the words. Yes. A bit of a stroll along this little beach. No particular reason why, other than I wandered away from the. Uh, the puzzle area. Figured I may as well have a wee old explore before wandering back again. Oh, hello! This is why we explore. It. Oh. It. Can I reset it? E. Do the. No. Okay, I guess I need to do more puzzles before I can unlock that term. Is that. Oh well. Either that or the blue screen of uh, death transcends all. Okay. So, easiest way to remember to find that future reference is go through the chasm of death. Right, so let's go do some green pieces. Green bit. You are a green bit. Trapped inside. Okay, so let's uh, have a look what we've got there. Alrighty. You in? So much trapped inside, isn't it? Let's go over here. Go bam! Bam! Yeah, trapped. I don't know how I could possibly. Uh, ever figure this particular puzzle out. I mean, how am I supposed to get it out of this tiny, easily accessible room? I have no earthly idea how anyone could ever possibly solve this puzzle. Quite the brain teaser, this one. Ah, I think we may have to call it a day on this one, guys. I hope sarcasm is the lowest form of wit, but what am I supposed to do with that? That's just nothing there to do. Never mind. Hey, okay, let's take over there. There's a path, let's just go down to the beach. Ow, I bit myself. I probably don't want to do that. That's just, uh. Back to the beach. Which, very pretty, not very helpful. Nice. L block. Lock from inside. Oh, I see what you're doing there, game. Very funny. Okay, we have a little tripod. Murphy's Law says now I've mocked the previous one for its simplicity, this one is going to completely screw me over. Buzzing. Can they just be the, uh, turn, uh, let's see. Terminal, not terminal, the laser we do to that. Okay, so that's strapped there. I think it makes more sense to have the laser this side because now if I go over here I can do 
connected further. Oh, sorry. I thought sorry, I thought that went uh, round the back. I thought I might be able to check more than one at a time. But... There. I've got a blue. There, but I need the piece of the puzzle to do there. The piece of the puzzle, which is indeed trapped inside. But I thought that would be more difficult than it was. That one's about to take this back. Yeah, that was a wall. You think by now I would stop walking into walls? You would be wrong. That open this bit up. This side of the wall, now I need to be walking. I've got to stop walking into the bloody Back to this side of the wall, connect, connect, bang, off we do. There we go. I think that was a little bit more complex to the, the, uh, the previous ones. Well, the previous one. That one was nothing to that one. And that one is done. So, which puzzles we are left at? Two red ones. Let's go find a red one. Left, right, left, right, left. Okay, okay. Two pesky little buzzers. Are there wasps? Is that what this level is going to be about? I doubt it. Since AI, why would you have. Sorry, I say AI, VR. Why would you have virtual reality wasps? That would be silly. Okay, so blue to get up there. And there are the two pesky little buzzers. That's one pesky little buzzer. Oh, there's the other pesky little buzzer. Well, this is simply a timing thing. If I leave it, I'll leave it there for now. I'll have an explore and see if it's. Uh, Oh, I can bypass the uh, this particular buzzer. So I connect those two thusly. Yes, that'll block it off there, but then it's got the longest possible time to get through. So what do there? Ah, Okay, one bit at a time. I, I think 
that's what I need to do to get into this blue bit. I suspect somewhere right down there is a uh, the blue laser that I can connect to that to get into that one. But let's uh, not do that for now. Leave up there. Start. Let's turn that just to be a bit of keys in. There it is. Bam. Right, seven secret stars. Three more, and I'll be able to do the other puzzle of pointlessness. Alright. So, let's go on. So, I think this is the last puzzle of the area. Looks like it. Pinhole windows. Red light right there, so we'll here. Uh, here we're we'll Ah. Uh, only this. The sigils are becoming harder to reach. I dread what the next temple holds in store. And at the end, what? Eternal life? There's got to be another way. Sheep version 16. Is that the guy who went insane and left a message in the arse end of nowhere? I think it is. Okie dokie, so that's fine everything over there, keeping that door open, but that's no point that door being open because this blue one is closed. So there's opening the door to the sigil for basically no reason, so we're plugging that. There we go, there's a blue. Red lady will be there. Well, you know 
joking down. That fixed everything to everything. Oh, there we are. So that gets me here. Oh, and now I have lots of these things. Right, over there, man. Okay, so. connected to here. The red laser connected to all three. All three to work. Four pinhole windows. This is a window. Connects the blue, connect the red. Bam. I don't quite like the uh, this puzzle. Something about it feels elegant. Couldn't put my finger on specifically what about it gives me that sensation, but I like it. on the wall that speaks of a world of endless sand. I would like to make it far enough to see that. I have seen that place. It is indeed a world of endless sand, and there's not much else to say on that, on that matter. Okay. I think. I had a full-blown conversation with the entity in the archive today. I can't say it was terribly helpful, but still, perhaps I can charm some information out of it further down the line. I have a bad feeling about Sheep. I think he's, uh... Yes, I think he's the one who embraced sort of nihilism at the end. What do you say? Hey, Milton. Delicious. Turns out the tree, I suppose. And the frog. Plenty of poisonous frogs. But, yeah, the, uh... <laughs> only one of these seems to actually be an answer to that question. The frog is conscious. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's try something hard. What's the difference between a frog and you? What makes you a person? I have feelings, I'm rational, I'm self-aware. Nothing important. Frogs are people too. I'm guessing that's the vegetarian answer there. Well, I'm rational would be the the answer I would be drawn to of these uh, these three here. Either I'm rational or I'm self-aware. I think um, I have feelings. A bit of a weak argument. I'm self-aware or I'm rational. But we've no reason to believe the frog isn't self-aware, we've no reason to believe it is either. So let's go with... Oh, so I'm going to go with I'm rational. That's the answer I've been confident of as well. Checking user done. Done. Though I'm not convinced that view lines up with the definition of the person you provided earlier, surely there are people out there who qualify but are not citizens of some organised state. Still, doubting your assumptions isn't something to fear. It's an intellectual survival instinct. I'm pleased to see... Sorry, I'm pleased to see you're adapting your ideas to your environment. Let us take stock. I think we can tentatively conclude two things. A person must be rational or self-aware. Oh, so both options were uh, 
Correct then. One per and two, a person must be conscious. What I suggest we do to help resolve your problem is ask whether you are in fact those things. Are you aware of yourself? Can you rationalize your existence? Yes. I tend to agree with you. Though your responses so far have been a little eccentric, I am resigned to admit that you are right. The matter of whether you are whether or not you are conscious seems rather more elusive. What is consciousness in your opinion? What separates us from the animal? That's circular logic. Consciousness is what separates us from the animals. Animals aren't conscious. I am conscious, thus I must not be an animal. Okay. Consciousness is feelings and senses. Well, all animals have those. Consciousness is what it's like to be me. Okay, we'll bit Descartes again. Consciousness is far outside my area of expertise. These... None of those are particularly helpful in terms of... Uh, I'm going to go with consciousness. What is it like to be me? It's probably the very closest I can get. That hardly answered the question. What is it in ordinary terms? Can I touch it? Was it made of? Made of neurons? Another word for soul? Beyond the law of physics? Complex functional system. Ooh, isn't that interesting? So, is this made of neurons? Which, as I don't know how my robots pro programming is set up, so it's possible that uh, we have some uh, artificially designed neurons. Another word for the soul, not overly helpful for a computer. Beyond the law of laws of physics, again, that's not a helpful one. Complex functional system. Complex functional system. That's an arbitrary line of sound. At what point is it, func uh, is it complex enough? Another word for the soul. The question is, is it, uh, is consciousness a series of functions which when put together creates something out of, uh, is, is it a physical system that just arises when a, uh, something is complicated enough, or is it something beyond uh, the physical? Neither of these two over here are particularly helpful, neither of these two. That one's probably the easiest for the computer to understand. That one might be more accurate in terms of what uh, we're dealing with here, because our, uh, our artificially intelligent being over here is currently running around with a bunch of other artificially intelligent beings, the idea being that only one of them is going to be capable of solving all the problems, I guess. I assume that's where this thing is going, um, which would mean that it must have a factor beyond what all the other artificial intelligence, artificially intelligent um, machines have. That sparking of consciousness, the being the soul, this complex, this uh, function, because they're all complicated. Let's go with the soul. Why the hell not? I'm spending a long time sitting here doing nothing. You know, I really think we're making progress. Well, how can you do a certification program in no time? Me too. I'm all over your proposal. Okay. Right, so we are convincing this machine that this machine that I currently am. I was looking down at my feet, but I don't have any feet. I don't have any feet. Why have I only just noticed that? <laughs> Whatever. We're trying to convince that machine that this machine has a soul. Right, let's deal with that next time. Because I think this, yeah, it's been more than long enough. Alright, bye.